fact, let's check in with a guy who's had a solid start to his season in Carlos Rodon. Yesterday, seven scoreless, but overall, he has been good. 2.70 ERA, and opposing batters are hitting just 232 against him. And now I'm joined by Carlos Rodon. Carlos coming off a great outing from yesterday. Seven scoreless innings. What do you take away from that one? Um, yeah, just strung a, strung a few zeros together. Try to give the team a chance to win. Um, like I said yesterday, you know, they, uh, they did a good job on the back end of the game. The 13 days, you know, scored two runs and then the back end of their bullpen is really impressive. I mean, it's, it's pretty real when you got to face two guys like that, 100, 102, sinker baller, 100, 102, four seamer, and they throw strikes and they're in the zone. I mean, that's, uh, it's not easy to hit when you have to face guys like that, but, um, you know, looking forward to today and we need to take, uh, we need to take today away from them. As a fellow pitcher, do you look at Mason Miller and just kind of look yeah. at him in awe, throw in, I think he touched 104 yesterday. Actually. Yeah. I mean, it was just, uh, it, it's impressive to watch a guy that, uh, you know, I, has that kind of velocity and then just command, I mean, just throws the ball over the plate as well. Like usually a guy like that, that's overpowering like that. You don't see that, you know, command aspect where you can usually kind of work account with a guy that's throwing a hundred, hundred one. Um, you don't see a guy, you know, first two pitches of the inning to Volpe were two sliders or I think Volpe saw three sliders and one fastball. And, uh, that kind of puts, that puts the hitters on, you know, what, what are we getting? That makes that 100, that 102, 103 look even, even harder. So, I mean, hitting against, a, hitting against a guy like that is, uh, is a tough ask. Lucky you're not in the batter's yeah, box. Yeah, no, I, uh, I would have just conceded the white flag there. <laughs> would have been fine with yeah. it. Uh, as far as your repertoire is concerned this year, I know we spoke during spring training and you talked about incorporating that cutter. Overall, how do you feel like that pitch has played for you this season? Yeah, we, uh, I started working on that um this winter when I got to Florida. I think that was in January. Just throwing it down in the gas station down in Himes, um you know, with numerous guys watching and Edgetronic and everything on it. Um then we deployed it this year. Uh, you know, I was comfortable working with it uh throughout spring and you know it's been it's been a it's kind of been one of those pitches where it gets me early ground ball outs or early contact and kinda of gets them off a of fastball, so it makes the fastball that much better. How does that work? Do they come to you and say, hey, we'd like you to add a cutter? Or are you constantly just tinkering, trying um, to find a, a way to get more of an edge? I think it's kind of like a player by player basis on how you approach someone. Um, yeah. It was, I, you know, I was, uh, I'm always pretty open to, I'll, I'll, I'll hear something out at least once and, you know, trying to gather, inf gather information on, you know, a suggestion and then make a decision from there. And, you know, I kind of was a no brainer, you know from the staff they're telling me that this cutter can help you a lot and you know, obviously they're correct obviously that pitch new but do you change your approach every year your mentality on the mound does that continue to grow as as you continue in this league yeah i mean this year's a little different um you know not so one dimensional you know power pitching today you know yesterday was a little more finesse against the marlins was a little more finesse uh, you could go look at the Toronto start. I kind of had to wait. I had to kind of rely on that fastball slider combo heavily because of the trouble I, I was put in. Um, you know, like I said, they, they fouled off a lot of pitches in that, in that start. And I had to rely on the one, two punch and it, you know, it was an inefficient start. So you go to yesterday, kind of a five pitch mix and kept guys off balance. It's more of a finesse style of pitching instead of the power pitching that I'm used to doing. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's ever evolving. That's baseball. Baseball is a game of adjustments and uh, pitching is a game of deception. So how deceptive can we be on the mound? Well, you're wearing the reigning Cy Young yeah. award winner's uh, shirt right now. I know he's right next to you in the clubhouse and I know he yeah. speaks with you quite a bit in the dugout. Just what has it been like working with him and having him to yeah, kind of bounce things off of? Garrett, Garrett's great. I wanted to wear this so you guys don't forget that uh, he's <laughs> on our team and he's pretty good still. Uh, we have not forgotten. Yeah. We saw him out throwing in yeah. the outfield today. Yeah. And just, I mean... When he gets back, can you imagine what this yeah, looks like? Yeah, he's going to be, uh, he's always special out there. <laughs> Garrett's really good. Um, it's really good to have as a teammate and as a friend as well. So, yeah. Now, last year we had some fun. Your son, adorable, yeah. but could not figure out who you were. He thought you were Austin Wells. So is that why you decided to go a different direction? Just so yeah, we, we left the mustache behind for so Bo knows now who daddy is, but, um, adorable is, uh, 
It depends on who you ask. <laughs> it depends on how the behavior is and in how, the day, and right? How, yeah, it depends on the day and how he's acting. Um, he's adorable here, but uh, there's some days. I well, love you, the kid. You and your wife have three beautiful children. You yeah. also do some great work with the um, Willow Grant. Tell yeah. us a little bit about the Willow Grant. Yeah, so Willow Grant is uh, something my wife and I have always, you know, wanted to do. We've struggled with infertility when we first trying to have kids. Um, and, you know, we think that, people anyone should have a kid if they if they want the opportunity and you know there's a lot of people that struggle struggle with infertility is so it was something that's been near and dear to our heart and then uh felt like we could help with how proud were you of your wife competing in the pageant yeah. miss greenwich usa that's pretty cool yeah pretty cool um you know i thought biasly i thought she should have won this <laughs> i'm her husband um i think she's the be most beautiful thing in the world and um it was a. Uh, it was an, another platform she could have used to help with, you know, the Willow Grant and the Carlos Rodon Foundation. So it was an unfortunate that, you know, it didn't happen, but, um, it was, it was amazing to see the work she put in this whole year, um, to go compete in that for sure.